YouTube. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Jay back with here with another video. Hope y'all are doing good, man. I hope y'all are staying positive, staying upbeat, man. Through the whole quarantine, I hope everything opened them back up for y'all. Uh, y'all getting to it, man. I hope y'all staying on your purpose and getting to it every day. Um, but yeah, man. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about how you do one thing is how you do everything. You know, so uh, let's dive straight into it, man. What I mean by this, how you do one thing, how you do everything, it's just the mentality how you go about life. Like, if you're disciplined in one area in life, that's just going to make it more likely that you're going to be disciplined in another area. And that's just going to make it even more likely that you'll be disciplined in another area. And then the pattern continues and it continues on. <laughs> So, for example, man, if you start going to the gym every day, you start exercising, working out, um, just adopting that healthy mentality and a healthy lifestyle, you're more than likely going to start cleaning up your diet as well and eating better um, in, in accordance with that. Uh, it's not going to be one or the other for you. It might take a little minute to get there, but eventually you'll start adapting that mindset okay this is just i'm becoming healthier this is what i do i know a lot of people that watch my videos are uh you know are on the doing semen retention and just not releasing the life force energy um which should also stem in the other areas of life like don't be doing semen retention but then not doing shit at the crib and eating Doritos all day and just playing video games and thinking that it's finna be your holy savior and then you're gonna be all good. You have to use that as a tool that builds the discipline muscle. I've talked about this in other videos, but it's really what you're trying to do with these little different habits is build your discipline muscle to where you're acting in accordance with your long-term self as opposed to short-term pleasures. Um, and that's what you do when you work out is you you're sacrificing the short term not really liking it for the long term results and then over time once you start making it a habit you actually start enjoying it the more you do um, honestly so it's like a good book I read um, so good they can't ignore you basically it talks about how the more you do something the more you like it and the more you align it with your passions so that just goes with anything in life um and I do want to, you know, I want to be tr fully transparent with y'all on this channel, man. Um, I had, I, I did relapse recently, man. Um, definitely relapsed. Not really proud of it, but you know, it's another, you know, chink in the road, man. You just got to keep on pushing, uh, take the right measures. And just because it's one relapse, it's not going to set you back 80 days, you know. It's still going to take a couple days to get back how to how you were but you're not gonna lose all that those gains you made in the past by staying on man so that's just a little motivation for y'all that if y'all relapse man don't beat yourself up about it it happens to the best of us just you know you just got to keep on going keep pushing um but the reason for that relapse i do want to be transparent about is um I had downloaded my personal Twitter. So my personal, I got a business Twitter and I got the business Twitter link is in, bio, in the uh, description, by the way. Y'all go follow that. Uh, it's at JV and Hodges. But I also have like a personal Twitter, I guess, to where I had it in the past with a lot of people I know from like my hometown or whatever, things like that. Um, just not really good, valuable information. It's just mostly memes and funny stuff and a lot of lustful pornography type images and stuff like that. And I had deleted it a while. I didn't realize this until I downloaded it back. I don't know why I signed into it. I had just been feeling urges the last couple of days or whatever. Um, just like strong urges, which is never good, man. Never good. Should have transmuted that energy, did something else or whatever, but you no, know, gave in a little bit. Um, and once I downloaded that Twitter back, it just immediately, it's like my brain had a cue to start going down that path and what i mean by that is once i didn't have that profile downloaded for like the last couple of months it was just like out, out of sight out of mind but then once i downloaded it i seen a couple of things remembered stuff i used to go to in the past went to those pages which led me to 
something else, which led me all the way to the hub, which is not good, man. Not good at all. You want to eliminate those triggers that happen that you know is going to mess you up. Like, when I deleted that person, I knew that was the reason why I had kept relapsing. And I'm like, okay, this Twitter is going is the enemy right now. Every time I get on it, it just I start going down that path. So I deleted it. You know, I deleted a couple other things from my phone, and it was just out of sight, out of mind. I was going good for the most part. As soon as I downloaded that back, man, I downloaded that. I downloaded Snapchat back, and I downloaded Tinder. All three of those things, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Like how you do one thing is how you do another. Once my mind was filled with those type of thoughts, it led me down to the path of, of Snapchat. I had some couple same messages from some girls in the past that was still there i wanted to go look at oh looked at that oh was looking at people's stories you know girls a lot more open on snap you feel me they like doing a lot more promiscuous stuff on snap man it's hot out here in texas man but uh y'all stay hydrated man keep some water on you at all times throughout the day for real <sighs> big key um so yeah went down that path um snapchat and then tinder like i wanted to you know meet some new people out here you know maybe not relapse on the hub but relapse in real life type stuff so just filled with those lustful thoughts and it just wouldn't go away i just kept feeding for more and that led me to edging and stuff like that and you know once you start edging you that shit basically over with. <laughs> you can say you're not going to do it all you want, but if it's not that day, it's going to be the next day. And it just leads you to that path, man. You just got to be out of sight, out of mind with it. Um, and just keep on remembering that how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if I would have stayed on that business Twitter, I would have never seen that. I would have never downloaded that. I would have never downloaded that. I would have just stayed on my straight and arrow path. Um, but it's just all lessons, man. Lessons I'm taking in. Lessons I want to share with you all. We all on the, uh, you know, same type of journey. So, um, you know, man, just stay positive. There's always going to be road bumps, but just take lessons from it and try to eliminate the triggers and stuff that caused it in the past so that you can move forward and not give in to a lot of the temptations and bad stuff you're doing, man. And just remember that how you do one thing is how you do everything. So just keep that in mind. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Got some value out of it. If you did, smash that like button. Comment if you haven't yet. If you're new to the channel, man, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. I will be dropping more and more as we go along, man. Uh, you can expect like two videos a week from me to start. Um, but yeah, other than that, just comment what y'all want to see below. Uh, description links will be my other social media. Y'all stay tuned for more. Peace. People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success.